Welcome to our vBulletin training video. Since we recently showed you how to make backups using both cPanel and MySQL Dumper, it's equally important to show you how to use these backups. We're going to start with cPanel. A short note about cPanel. Some web hosts use different skins and layouts than the one you're looking at. But the basic idea should be the same, so consult your web host for more information. So to restore a database in cPanel, it is normally pretty easy, though it can take some time. You need to be logged into your cPanel hosting account, then navigate down to the backup section. Here you should be able to see a field where you can press choose file. Then click for the file of the backup you want to restore. After the file uploads, cPanel will take the backup, extract it, and try to restore it. If for some reason this doesn't work, you should be able to contact your host and have them work with you to help restore the backup. Now we're going to switch gears. If you've installed MySQL Dumper and have been making backups so far, you can use it directly to restore a backup it has available. You can also upload a backup to its work slash backup folder for it to take and restore a backup. So we're going to navigate back to our MySQL Dumper install at mydomain.com slash backups. Once in, restoring a backup is pretty straightforward. Click on the restore button, then choose a backup that is available to restore. Afterwards, click the restore button and the system will start restoring the database backup. Once it's complete, you should be good to go. Thank you for choosing vBulletin 5 Connect.